the rash of uh, robbers that we've been having, uh, our detectives were took a little bit extra time last night and uh, was looking at different places and they observed uh, some su suspicious behavior in the area of the uh, uh, Dollar General store done on Fairfax Bypass. Uh, the detectives observed a small dark colored vehicle slowly circling the building. Uh, that immediately got their suspicions. The, uh, the vehicle left the property then returned shortly after again circled the building and uh, once it come around it parked in the parking lot the, uh, the suspect, the driver, got out of the vehicle and uh, walked into the store and very shortly there walked back out. Uh, they observed that uh, he was dressed uh, as a previous robbery of Dollar General on 20th Avenue. He was dressed with the same uh, black hoodie, dark colored clothing, and driving a dark colored vehicle. As he was coming out to his vehicle, the detectives decided to stop him, identify him, and uh, see, see what was going on. When they did that, uh, they patted him down and found a weapon tucked into uh, his uh, waistband. At that time, he was uh, detained. He was read his Miranda rights, and he admitted that he was uh, looking at robbing the Dollar General store last night and that they had stopped him before he was able to go through with it. Once he was down here to the station, they uh, continued interviewing him. He confessed that he was the one that had robbed the Dollar General on 20th Avenue on March 22nd. He also implicated himself in armed robberies in Dula, in Lee County, and in Opelika. Uh, at this time, he's been charged with robbery first degree and theft of property third degree for the March 22nd robbery of Dollar General. Uh, more charges are pending, uh, not only from us, but from other agencies. He was... Uh, processed here at the Valley Police Department and then taken to the Chambers County Detention Facility.